Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, December 11, 2018, and we don't have a single thing going on in Forex Factory. Not one single thing today, which is a good thing. It's a good thing, but it might be a slow day, but either way, we're looking for our signals here. So stay tuned, everybody. As always, we are always going to be patient waiting for our setups. I just noticed a signal here on BABA forming. It's the first five minute candle. I don't like it to begin with, but I just don't like the play in general. Um, I'm just going to let that one go even if it sticks. Again, uh, five minute candle, first five minute candle, don't like it. Everything else seems like it's tanking too. I'm liking spy here. Let's uh, see what we got. I went ahead and bought one put, 267 puts. Got in pretty high. I got in at 290. Let's go in our direction now. Looking decent here. We can go ahead and get it out. Just um, didn't like the action there. Lost $11 on that trade there. Bought at $290, sold at $279, $11. That's okay. Um, that's okay. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, didn't lose a whole lot. I was only trading one contract. Ah! Oh! Oh! What's going on, everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. I placed a bad trade today. I'm not that mad. I'm not that frustrated with myself. Personally, I think I did the right thing. Well, actually in hindsight, I, I did the terrible thing of getting out. Uh, I didn't follow my trading plan. I never do. I need to get better at that. Before I actually start talking and, and basically uh, analyzing it after the fact, I want to give you guys a little piece of my algorithm. I'm starting to use the ATR to get out of trades, basically my stop loss. Whatever the ATR is at on the five minute chart, the moment that I get in, um, I multiply it by one and a half and I get my stop loss. Today's trade, that stop loss was 60 cents uh, from the high of the candle where I got in, which was pretty gosh darn high. Um, I would have been losing somewhere around 40-50% possibly um, had it got to my stop loss and got out for, for a loss. The, so that's sort of the bad news had it gone completely against me and got out. Here's the other bad news. It didn't hit my stop loss. And it went in the direction that I was thinking that it was going to go in, in the first place. Um, I'm not too frustrated. Honestly, I'm not too frustrated. Today's um, market conditions, I guess, uh, were a little wacky. In my opinion, that's the best way I can describe it, uh, is wacky. I got in, went completely against me. Thankfully, I chickened out down here and not way up there while I was already, you know, down, you know, 30, 40%. Um, I'm not sure how, how much I would have been losing, but um, it went uh, completely against me. And in one minute, uh, SPY moved over 60 cents. And then um, it started trending back down to where I got in. And then it went back up. And then finally, it went in, in uh, down. And those puts that I bought at 290 sold at 279, they're trading at $4.21. In essence, yes, I'm mad that I wasn't a part of that move, um, but I think in my opinion, um, I did the right thing by getting out as soon as I noticed that there wasn't any momentum going to the downside. 
I can't do this. I can't do this. Um, I, I can't trade by feel. I need to trade my system, my strategy, and I'm going to work on that. But, um, you know, for all my subscribers, all my viewers, if you're watching this video all the way through, um, I'm using the ATR to find my stop loss. Keep in mind that even though today on a whipsaw day, it was a bit rough it didn't hit my stop loss and had i stuck in there with my strict strategy my plan i think i would have came out in the green i think but this is exactly why i'm showing you guys too many youtubers they're liars too many youtubers too many traders uh, they're liars i'm going to show you all of my trades i'm going to show you the emotional side the psychology behind trading um, live so to speak and and showing you like all my my behavior basically I'm not too mad I'm not too frustrated could have made quite a bit of money it hit my target price um, after it actually started hit my target price take profit price of, of uh, three dollars and 19 cents that's exactly ten percent um, and I, I was only trading one contract to begin with, so I couldn't, um, you know, even say that I would ride it all the way up to, you know, where it's at over $4. So I only lost $11, $12 after commissions. Um, I lost less. My, my loser today is far less than my winner last time. And so I'm happy right now. Um, we're good. Let's just let's just keep going. Let's keep going with this uh, trading strategy, with this trading plan. But yes, I'm using the ATR to figure out my stop loss. So the the rest of the month is going to be tough for me uh, to train. This is a really busy time of the year for property management. Um, so I'm going to cut down drastically on my video content, but I'm going to try to make it up in other ways. Don't forget today, guys, 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, we have the live podcast with Lindsay Duff. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a live podcast. Uh, we're going to have a Q&A session towards the end. And if anybody has any questions um, about trading in general, I think it's going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be my first um, live podcast ever. Um, let's see how I do, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought uh, about this video, about my trading, about my strategy. Anything you guys want to talk about, comment down below, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day.